This is uh, David, and it's 2016, September 9th, and he's come for treatment, and I want him to explain a couple of his symptoms and uh, briefly tell us some of the more interesting or bizarre symptoms that he's had. Go ahead. Okay. Well, um, so basically when you go around the airports, you can hear each flight, if there's a delay, military bases, any radio, like out here, <clears throat> um, you can hear every car that goes by what's on their radio or a conversation or, you know, 911 dispatches or when so I was at That's the amazing. Hotel. So when you were here in the waiting room, what did you hear specifically, like the names of the streets or the incidents? Um, well, somewhere on Cromwell, somebody had to go. Uh, they were making some rounds. And then there was something that happened at some place called the Bite in Manesha, and then the Black Dog, somebody got carried away by some drunkenness. And so the police ETA was about 10 minutes away because they were on another call on Beach Road at some place called Lobsterville Beach. Correct. So we could actually call the police to verify. I'm sure you could. Sitting here, you're able to hear. I'm sure you probably now, could. Now, where does the radio hear? When you hear it, where do you hear it in your body? Is it? Right here. You feel like it's coming through right from like behind the nose. Right. Between your eyes. Mm -hmm. And is it irritating for you to be around yes. electrical appliances? Tell me what you symptom you get and which appliances bother you. Um, I could show you, but um, is she, I can show you. Um, it's easier but, to show. So you were sitting next to the fan, yeah, the air filter, which is like this in the office in the front. It's hard to breathe. Hard to breathe, right? Very hard to breathe. Any chest pain or no? Yeah, as a matter of fact. Do you feel like the right heart here. is twisting at yeah. all? Yeah, you do. I used to have that too. So um, it's like a. Um, everything's choking you, you can't get air out. Right. It's like someone's choking you. Now when do you feel better? If you when you're away, away from it. And how do you do when you're at the beach or ocean air? Do you do well? Yeah, oh yeah, no problems unless there's radar there. Okay, so you can't handle radar, Navy bases, that kind oh, of thing? Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Aircraft carriers did that to my eye. So you- And we just drove over it. Now what do you think, we're gonna be, keep this video very short, what do you think is the cause? Do you think the um, fact that you lived in a moldy environment in the past has contributed to being environmentally ill and electrically sensitive? I'm sure. Um, there were a lot of car accidents that happened and I hit my head multiple times because we were whip, there's constant whiplash reports and we were going this way to get away from And people. what happened when you were two years old to start the ball rolling with environmental illness? Uh, carbon dioxide poisoning. And you had how many treatments for that? What kind of treatment? A uh, hundred hyperbaric treatments. And you then had the damage to the brain that happens with CO poisoning, which probably was confounded future, like in life with other events and All other right. toxic exposures to make you maybe more susceptible. Probably more susceptible. Okay, so right now, how are your feet? What's wrong with the feet? Uh, right now I can feel a vibration on the floor and it's shaking my body. Yeah, because there's an air conditioner condenser nearby. What about your feet smell? Do they smell okay or no? Uh, they smell very unique. Although I was in the ocean, they still smell unique. Like yeast. I think they smell yeasty. And what about your teeth? Is it hard to keep them clean? Yeah, you can't really brush them or you seizure out. And I mean by seizure out, you fall on your face. Yeah, so you can't do that. No. Now we did your heart rate when you were uh, in the office and the heart rate standing is about 90. But when you're laying down, it's about 66, and maybe if we let you rest, it would even go slower. So it looks like your autonomic nervous system has had a little damage because the heart rate is almost oh, 25, sure. 30 I'm beats sure. faster. And that is typical of mold exposure, that people get damage to the autonomic nervous system and dysautonomia, and then they can also have adrenal insufficiency and be thin, and sometimes the replacement of the hydrocortisone or cortisol will make you feel better. So we're going to study these two things and see if you can tolerate the treatment and then maybe uh, your sensitivity to EMF will be less. Okay. okay? Okay, we'll interview you again in a couple of days. Bye.